so much is missing from the fossil record of our planet's past. Unimaginable numbers of species will never be known to humans because there's just no longer any trace of them left, either due to their fossils being destroyed by the processes of the Earth or simply because they never preserved in the first place. But sometimes the fossil record is kind. Sometimes you come across fossils that are in such an incredible condition that it almost looks like the animals these once came from are still there somehow, just sleeping for eternity. This is the case with a very recently named species of dinosaur, Changmiania liaoningensis, a basal ornithopod that lived during the early Cretaceous period about 123 million years ago. The fossil material known for this dinosaur species is simply incredible. Two almost entirely complete and articulated skeletons have been recovered, posed in a way that truly looks like they're just sleeping. This is even reflected in the name given to the taxon, Changmian means eternal sleep, and the immense detail of the fossils provides paleontologists with an extraordinary opportunity to study these ancient animals. Indeed, when looking at the anatomy of these ornithopods, some incredibly interesting things were found, potentially hinting that this was quite an unusual species of dinosaur. So where did these fossils come from? Well, they first came to scientists' attention when they were acquired by the Paleontological Museum of Liaoning in China from local farmers. The specimens had already been somewhat prepared when paleontologists got access to them, which did cause some concern that they may have been forgeries. However, after being fully prepared by staff at the museum, the specimens were examined very carefully by researchers and using X-ray analyses they were able to determine that the fossils, apart from a few restorations due to pieces being damaged during the original partial preparation, were indeed authentic. According to the farmers, and confirmed by the paleontologists, the specimens came from an area of the Lugiaton beds, which are part of the famous Yixian formation from which many highly significant and exceptional fossils have been recovered in the past. Other animals of the Lugiatun beds include the basal Tyrannosaurus D. long, ornithomimosaurs, dromaeosaurs, cetacosaurs, other ornithopods, and the troodontid Melong, the name of which translates to sleeping dragon, another specimen that is preserved in a sleeping posture. Unlike other localities of the Yixian, fossils in the Lugiatun beds are generally preserved in three dimensions, and it's been hypothesized that the animals were all killed suddenly by a lahar, a kind of debris flow, from a nearby active volcano. A useful feature of this volcanic activity is that the paleontologists have been able to pretty accurately work out the time period of the ash layers that are interbedded with the fossil-bearing horizons using argon-argon dating, concluding that they were laid down about 123 million years ago. Thanks to the incredible condition of the Changmiania fossils, a lot of anatomical characters are preserved for these dinosaurs, enabling the paleontologists to determine with relative clarity where its position in the evolutionary tree is, though the exact relationships between dinosaur clades are always changing with each new study as more and more information comes to light. This study recovers Changmiania as the most basal, or primitive, though that term is a little misleading, ornithopod currently known to science. Ornithopoda is the dinosaur lineage that includes iconic groups such as the hadrosaurs, so this new species being the most basal one we've found so far is very significant and allows researchers to access all sorts of new information about the earliest evolution of the clade. The authors note how this new species does, in some ways, resemble the genus Jeholosaurus, another small ornithopod from the same beds in the Ixian formation. However, their analysis finds that the similarity is only superficial, and in fact, numerous differences can be identified in the anatomical details of the two taxa that indicate a more basal position for Changmiania. And there's even more that makes this new dinosaur a particularly special find. A lot of its anatomy seems to suggest that this was a burrowing animal. So far, only one species of non-avian dinosaur is confidently thought to have been a burrowing organism, the North American Parkosaurid Erectodromius, but there are a few other taxa that are proposed to also show evidence for burrowing behaviour. Changmiania is tentatively suggested to display features of a skeleton that made it well suited to digging. This includes fused premaxillary bones and a spatulate-shaped upper surface to the snout, which is considered to perhaps indicate that they used their reinforced broad snout to move soil around. However, it's also noted that nuchal crests, specific raised ridges of bone on the skull, are very well developed in animals that dig with their heads, and Changmiania lacks this development, implying that their heads would not have been their main digging tools. Instead, characteristics of the dinosaur's body skeleton would seem to indicate that they might have been a scratch-digging species, meaning they primarily used their hands and claws to dig out burrows. 
The scapulocoracoids of these dinosaurs are very large and fused, and also feature very prominent processes that would have provided a large attachment base for muscles used in stabilising and operating the limbs for digging. These scapulocoracoid features are also seen in Erectodromius and Corianosaurus, another small ornithischian that may have been a burrower. Additionally, the radius being shorter than the humerus and very short hands are more features of Changmiania that would appear to indicate digging behaviour, as these characters are also seen in modern mammalian burrowers. The neck of Changmiania is fairly short too, composed of only six vertebrae, and the hips are another part of the skeleton that appears to potentially show adaptations for digging. The authors note how mammals alive today which dig with their forelimbs tend to brace with their hind feet and tail, which Changmiania seems to have been able to do as the construction of its hips enabled it to spread its back legs fairly wide and avoid any torsion while it dug. Other modifications of the hip area include the fact that the neural spines of the hip vertebrae are all fused into a continuous bar of bone, effectively strengthening this region. This would also probably have helped the dinosaur to deal with the forces over the hips induced by scratch digging with their hands. However, Changmiania was likely not a fully subterranean creature. The proportions of its long hind limbs indicate that it was still very capable of running at high speeds, which would likely have been a necessary defence mechanism while they were away from their burrows. These implications of burrowing behaviour therefore hint at a potential reason for why the fossils of the dinosaurs are so extraordinarily well preserved. The paleontologists describing these specimens hypothesised that the animals were perhaps asleep in their burrows when they collapsed on them, rapidly burying the ornithopods and preserving them in their incredibly lifelike positions. The fact that there's no evidence of weathering or scavenging on the bones would support the idea that they were very quickly entombed, but it also doesn't necessarily contradict the hypothesis put forward in previous studies on fauna from these beds, that a lahar from a nearby volcano buried all these animals alive. The study describing Changmiania also suggests that maybe the burrow collapsed on the animals during the debris flow, or that perhaps they dug their burrows into unstable volcanic material just after a flow. Unfortunately, due to the fact that the precise area these fossils originated from is unknown to the researchers, it cannot be said with much certainty what the case really was, and all of this remains speculative. Still, there's no denying that these fossils are a truly special find. It's very rare that three-dimensionally preserved dinosaur remains in such a fantastic condition are discovered, and they show just how valuable the Lugiatun beds are to science. Hopefully many more amazing fossils will be uncovered from this locality. It's always exciting too when a newly discovered fossil can tell a story of the last moments of an ancient animal's life. Although it's still highly speculative in the case of Changmiania, it paints a vivid picture of what life and death was like 123 million years ago for these little ornithopods. Add to this the unusual potential mode of life for these organisms, and their significant position in the dinosaur evolutionary tree, and it's clear how important these fossils are. Well, I really hope you enjoyed learning about Changmiania. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters, especially our dinosaur tier supporters Jan Owen, Corey Peterson, George Vojtek, Persian Boy, Mike Pace, Mayer's World, Dhruv Srivastava, Matthias Bergscher, Nicole Bueno, Amanda von Nordek, Dominic Bathy, and Harry Evert. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.